The CBN recently lifted foreign exchange restrictions on 43 items banned since 2015. How will such monetary policy reforms lead to a better deal for citizens? Well, certainly the fact that uh, you will have a, a reduction in the rate of inflation as the months uh, go on as a result of uh, the, the uh, reduction uh, on the, uh, the uh, demand pressures on, uh, on, on, the, on the dollar uh, reduce. Uh, those demand pressures on the dollar reduce, obviously that will, uh, uh, you know, kind of loosen up the squeeze that was placed on the Naira uh, that led to the constant slide of the Naira uh, in the parallel market, which uh, obviously had become kind of uh, the, the go-to hub uh, for where most importers and where most, uh, you know, uh, citizens of our country uh, would have to go to, ex uh, you know, exchange uh, for their foreign exchange, uh, exchange their Naira for the foreign exchange they wanted to use. So uh, you're going to see a reversal in the trends on inflation. That's going to be, uh, you know, very, very key in all of this. Secondly, uh, that should uh, have a direct impact on uh, things like food prices, uh, the ability uh, of Nigerians to access uh, basic commodities should become easier over the course of the next weeks and months uh, as, these, uh, as the demand, uh, as the reduction in demand pressure uh, on, the, uh, on the dollar and the parallel market begins to kind of take hold. Uh, we should also expect uh, that you're going to see uh, the, a massive improvement in terms of uh, the ability of states uh, and the federal government, of course, and the investments they want to make, uh, they're going to be able to see how uh, Nigerian citizens are going to be able to witness how uh, you're going to be getting more value for your money uh, when you're engaging contractors to build roads, uh, engaging contractors to build ports, engaging contractors to build broadband cables and, uh, you know, power lines and all the things that ultimately will make our economy bigger and stronger and make the livelihoods of our people easier uh, and the standard of living of our people much better. Uh, so that's going to have an impact. Uh, when the uh, unified exchange rate settles uh, at, the, at the rate which we believe the market will set it at, uh, then you're going to now have a situation where all the, uh, the, the current rates uh, of, uh, of, ex of expense, uh, when you talk about uh, government contracting and the like, all of that is going to come down, and that's going to have a major impact uh, on, uh, you know, obviously the ability of government to provide more services uh, at a cheaper cost uh, for the benefit of Nigerians. Uh, then I think furthermore, uh, when you look at uh, some of the, uh, th the fact that you're now going to have the uh, importers of these items being able to access uh, foreign exchange uh, at the uh, unified rate, uh, that's obviously going to have its own carry-on, pass-on effect, uh, to the end user, to the consumer, uh, when you have to pay less, uh, to, uh, when you have to pay less to bring something in, something you had to pay more for. Uh, let me just break this down quickly. Uh, if I'm importing, uh, for example, a toothpick, and I have to go to the parallel market, which is congested and saturated uh, with excessive demand, I'm going to have to pay more for the dollar to be able to import that toothpick from wherever I'm importing it from meaning that when I sell that toothpick to the end user in Nigeria, I'm going to charge the Nigerian citizen more for that toothpick. Now, as a result of the reversal, as a result of the lifting of the ban, uh, when the uh, unified exchange rate uh, settles at a number far lower than what we see on the parallel market uh, over the that we saw over the course of the last several weeks, which is already in decline, moving back to what it should be, uh, then you're going to now have uh, these people bringing in these products uh, obviously at a rate that is uh, uh, more affordable uh, for the end user and the cost at which they so secure their dollars to bring that in will be less and as a result the final uh, end price uh, for the Nigerian consumer will be less meaning that uh, the household incomes will be able to purchase more uh, with less uh, as a result of this move in the interim. Now the goal obviously is not to uh, just encourage importation. Uh, obviously, it is a transit. It's a transit plan. It's a transitory, uh, a, a kind of a transition uh, that we are undertaking, uh, moving from uh, import dependence into local manufacturing and local production. 
uh, but we have to reduce the pressure uh, that is on the Naira uh, by obviously uh, ridding the excessive uh, demand for dollars that was existing in the parallel market. We have now done that, uh, and we believe that Nigerians uh, in the immediate term will be able to access all of those items. You're talking about, like I said, uh, food and uh, you know uh, cement and so many other household goods that we use on a daily basis, cosmetics and many, many others. If you look at that list, you're now looking at accessing those items uh, at, at, a, at a reduced cost. That can only help Nigerian families. So that should lead to uh, somewhat of a better deal for Nigerians, at least in the short term, uh, as we transit toward uh, you know, aggressively pursuing local production.